C.S. Lewis once said, to be a Christian is to forgive the inexcusable in others because Christ has forgiven the inexcusable in us. God asks us because of the great debts that he's forgiven us that we also in turn forgive others and he does a powerful work in our lives when we do this. One of the most incredible stories I've ever heard about forgiveness is from Corey Ten Boom who is a Holocaust survivor. She and her family were actually harboring Jews in their home in Holland to protect them from Nazi Germany. And because of that, we're put into concentration camps. In those camps, her sister passed away from starvation and from suffering. Later, after the war was over, Corey was sharing stories about God's forgiveness and about the power of Christ. She traveled to a church in Germany and she shared about how Christ takes our sins and throws them into the sea and they're gone forever. A man came up to her after the service and she recognized him immediately. To her horror, it was one of the guards from the concentration camp where her sister had died. And the man said, Corey, thank you so much. I know now that Christ has forgiven me my terrible sins, but I would love to know if you'd forgive me as well. And in that moment, Corey just felt so cold and so broken and lifeless. And she had no desire to forgive this man. And she prayed in her heart and she said, God, if you help me, I'll extend my hand to this man who's extending his hand to me, but if you help me, help me to actually feel that I can forgive this atrocity that she had gone through in her life. And as she reached out her hand, she felt the Spirit of God just flood through her body into her hand and she embraced this man and she was able to say in that moment, I do forgive you from the bottom of my heart. God asks us also to forgive those who've sinned against us, but he doesn't just ask to do it by ourselves. He wants to give us the power and help us to do it. And, and sometimes it's a process. Sometimes we need to make the choice over and over again to forgive, but when we forgive others, there's a spiritual breakthrough that God does in our lives.